Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we've found the um, stiffness matrix for the entire system and their corresponding equations. We're now going to go and solve for du and q unknown. Okay, so we're going to find the unknown displacement and unknown, unknown forces or reactions. So we know that from here, q known equals k11 d unknown plus k12 d known. So just expanding out that matrix. Because D known is just a 0, 0, 0, 0 matrix, that goes to 0, and we're just left with this. Okay? So, partitioning this matrix to show you what I mean. That would be um, Q known. This would be Q unknown. This would be K11. That would be K22. K12, so that's K21, and that would be K22. Okay, so we're just going to expand out, expand out that top row. You can see why that's going to go to zero, because it's going to be that row by that column, which is all just going to be zero. So putting all these values in, it would be 60 equals K11 is EI outside of 0 0.66. D unknown is D1. Okay, where this is 1, 1. Now, this is actually very easy to solve because it's just an equation, which means D1 would equal 60 on 0.66 EI, which works out to be 90 on EI. So there's D1. We've found our displacement at 1. Now, because this is a moment, so what, sorry, it's a rotational displacement, this would be in radians. Okay, so that's rad. Alright, we're now going to go and find our unknown reactions.